what makes you blush? If there were no rules for today, what outrageous thing would you do? And for you, what is the essence of a woman? These are just three of the most iconic Miss Universe questions through the years. But those are usually reserved for that final moment. Preliminary interviews usually expect deeply personal views and information about the candidates. But just like any other pageant question, our dearest Miss Universe Philippines experts say that the most important factor is the delivery in which it is effective and confident. Join us again today for our second batch of Miss Universe Philippines candidates. This is a question and answer preliminaries and this is the game changer. Hello, I'm Secret Grace Flores from Cotanduanes. I'm a missionary, a motivational speaker. I'm also a charity worker and a founder of a charitable group. What okay. is one beautiful word in your local language and what does it mean? Magayon. That means beautiful. And I think that um, there's just so much beauty in my language, in my dialect, in my province, Catanduanes, because not just it offers a lot of beautiful tourist spots, but it actually is amazing because even if it is situated in a very calamity-prone place, it, it gives so much um, symbolism of strength and resilience to not Thanks. just in... What is that one learning experience that you had as a child that made so much impact? As a child, I experienced growing in a realist ng tren. And it is where I actually found my life goal and my purpose. I realized that I would um, use my life to create a language of hope and a narrative of hope rep to be a representation of love to the people who are in the underprivileged area. So when I was able to get out of that situation, I really committed myself and did my best to be a better version of myself. And now I'm a charity worker. Thanks. Thank you. Uh, in this pandemic, uh, what is the most important lesson that you learned? Uh, the, the very important re uh, lesson that I learned is to do away with apathy. And that's always what I believed in because I believe that people are naturally compassionate and loving. And I think that it is an eye-opener that we need each other to see each other through, especially in times like this. And I, I've seen how we've come together. And I know that if we become a one heart, we can overcome any crisis, even this pandemic. If you win the town, how will you help you? For such a time as this, I believe that we need a queen that um, knows how to unite people's hearts. And especially now that we are in the middle of the pandemic, I will educate people the, about the role of charity and helping out. And I will compel them to be involved in the arena of charity because I believe that it is our role to see each other through. And of course, if we become one heart, we are going to be an unstoppable force. Thank you. I think the color that represents a phenomenal woman is yellow because it, it, it is actually a color that symbolizes joy, happiness, and especially hope. And I think that is what we need right now. Okay, um, working from home is the one. Yeah. So what skills do you think we need for what we call the workplace of the future? I think that it is amazing how the pandemic allowed us to become more resourceful and creative. And personally, what I learned is that we should optimize the social media. And I am a motivational speaker. Before, I used to go to events. But now, I was able to do motivational speaking engagements, even through online. So there are a lot of people who would contact me. And I was able to do as effective, even if I was not there in a physical place. 
can you leave one spot, man-made or natural, from Katangwan is that you'd like to promote to the world? Oh, I'd love to promote Pura Aran. Um, it is a surf spot, and um, I, I really love the beach. I'm a beach person, and aside from that, it actually showcases what we are known for, the land of the howling winds. So we have very good waves, and um, I think that um, if I will be able to showcase it to the world, we, the world will know that Katanduanes is a force to reckon with. There's a campaign to hashtag love local. So when it comes to products, local products, what would you like to promote and why? Um, I think I would promote abaca. It is very native to Catanduanes and um, endemic to Philippines, distinctly Filipino. It is not just um, world acclaimed when it comes to its quality. It is also um, it symbolizes strength and resilience of not just Catanduanes, of course, but the Filipinos. And I think if it will be given, uh, if, if it will be given enough attention and research, we will. It will help us to be. Uh, recognized internationally. I think the young people should focus on working on bettering themselves, finding out their passion and purpose, because when they know their passion and purpose, that can serve as their internal compass and they will never go wrong in life. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Salamat. <laughs> I am so elated. I was able to really express myself well and I think that I represented my province well as well. I think you really have to know who you are to be more self-aware. You have to be true to yourself and tethered to your purpose. It's crazy. <laughs> Good morning everyone. 30 seconds for every question, then I'm Billy Hackinson. I'm representing Gavite. I work as a flight attendant and I've been flying for four years now. I am a dog person. I love to cook. I love staying at home. And I'm a bisexual and I'm proud to be here. It's the coffee. It helps. What is one beautiful word in Filipino to refer to Gavite? And what does it mean? I think my favorite Tagalog word would be kamusta. It shows concern. It shows that you really want to know something about the person, especially how the person is. And usually the reply is also kamusta. There, it reciprocates and the care is there. It is a legit communication between two people. Next question. So what is that uh, learning experience that you had as a child that made so much impact? I think if it's about lesson, it's... Um, lesson of being forgiving. It's something that I can carry out all throughout my life because keeping grudges in you is uh, going to impact you more as a person instead of the other person that you're mad about. You have to be forgiving about everything and I think it has to start from as early as a child because you have to bring it with you all throughout your life and you have to be able to share this to everyone as well. What about in this pandemic? What do you think is the biggest lesson that you do? That we have to ask for help. That there's, there should be no shame in asking for help. And I experienced this especially with this journey because I live alone in Cebu. That's where I, uh, I'm based. And that altruism is actually still evident in the world today. That cooperation is actually the key in challenges such as this. If you win the Miss Universe crown, how would you help your community? If it's in Cavite, I already started a... a a few organizations. It's not really me who started it, but I've been a part of it. And um, I'm going to be perfectly honest, I've been working for four years now and I have been trying to support my family and I haven't been um, really in-depth in terms of helping the community, but I would want to start doing so with the help of the Miss Universe organization. What color do you think symbolizes the phenomenal woman? Chartreuse. Green na lang. <laughs> Green na lang. <laughs> it's a very uh, hard color to pull off, but I think uh, with the right level of confidence, I can do it. Cavite is a very soft spot in my heart. Oh. So, but um, I think I, I, I grew up there or something, or, or my family's from Cavite. But uh, if you have to name one spot, whether it's man made or natural that you'd like to promote to the world 
what spot in Cavite would it be? Hmm. I think the pineapple farms of Silang Cavite. That's where I grew up. So going to school, going back home, I always pass by that. And the farmers there are really, really nice. We have a Sari Sari store and they would bring pineapples every morning if they can. And I love the sour ones, especially the ones that are not yet hinog. And I think that needs more promotion. That needs more, um, it can be promoted further. You can do other stuff with pineapples. We can make fabrics out of it, but it's not exposed. Well, there's also a lot of people doing work from home now. Yes. So what do you think are the skills that, that's needed in this so-called uh, workplace of the future? I think charisma and confidence is something that transcends the screen. It is something that you can um, show to everyone, even with the barrier of internet connection, technology, and screen. But I have to admit, something that's lacking is still warmth. And I think we have to work on that more. We have to translate it to people that we are still warm, that we are still loving, even if we're miles apart, even if I'm not there to physically support you, my warmth and my heart is still there. And I think that is something that we can really practice, especially us Filipinos, that we are really, really warm people. There's a campaign to hashtag love local. Mm. So what local products do you want to promote or and why? Pineapple spelling. Um, maybe that's one, but since I love to cook, siguro Filipino food. I don't know why, but Filipino food is very diverse, but it's not really well known. We have Vietnamese food, we have pho, we have a lot of Asian food, but Filipino food is not really up there. So probably sisig. We have adobo, who is actually kind of Spanish, but we made a twist on it. We have sinigang, who is authentically Filipino. So I think that would be the first one, because a way to someone's heart is always through their stomach, especially for me. <laughs> The last question is, what is one thing you think young people should focus on? I think they should focus on being more self-aware. They have been looking outside through their phones, comparing themselves with other people, when in fact they haven't really looked inside yet. They haven't observed and appreciated their strengths, their power, their weaknesses, what um, things they have to improve on. They've been so focused on molding themselves into packages of beauty and standards and hypes. I think they have to be more self-aware of themselves. They have to look deep within them, find that motivation. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It's full moon. Everyone who supports you, what about people who inspire you? Do you think they will look at you and say, hmm, I'm proud of this person right now? I certainly hope so. But apart from that, I'm, also, I'm mostly trying to impress myself, first of all, because you cannot give something that you don't have. So I'm starting there. And then I'm trying to translate it to everyone who's going to watch me. Um, Hi, MJ. It's so um, tell us something about your parents. Mayangod to ninyo Good noon. My name is Tracy Maureen Perez. I'm representing my hometown, Cebu City. I'm an industrial engineer by profession. I'm also a model and a beauty queen based in Cebu City. And an interesting fact about myself that I'm very proud of is that I'm a miracle baby. Life is an absolute blessing for me. And I take every chance that I can get to learn from every experience, both good and bad, so that I can definitely live my life to the fullest. What is one beautiful word in Cebuano, and what does it mean? Guapa. Definitely guapa for me, because it can mean a beautiful person, a beautiful experience, a beautiful place. And that for me is, I think, the most beautiful word that I can say about a Cebuano word, and that represents the Filipino and the Cebuano culture. So what is that one learning experience that you had as a child that made so much impact on you? The biggest learning definitely is to be grateful. And uh, Again, I'm a miracle baby and my mom has always taught me that this life was given to me. It was a blessing to me. And so, yes, I take every chance that I can get to just experience, to have fun, and to make the most out of every situation and to, to really connect with people because that is the most important for me, connecting with people and connecting with them through experiences. Um, so in this pandemic, what do you think is the most important lesson that you learned? It, during this pandemic, 
aside from taking care of our health, of course, health is the most important wealth that we have, it's also making sure that we have a safety net, that we are financially stable as much as possible, because that has been one of the biggest problems of every family in this country, financial instability because of what happened. The pandemic has uprooted so many people and so many businesses. And I think if we can learn from this, we should be able to be more prepared next time. If you win the crown, how will you help your community? If I will be given this huge platform, I will push for equal opportunities for women, both in, in the workplace and in the school, in, in gaining access to education, because I think that women are already intelligent, smart, and powerful, empowered, but we have to give them the opportunity so that they can broaden and widen their horizons and be the best that they can be and reach their utmost and best potential. What color do you think represents the phenomenon of woman? Definitely red. It's my favorite color. It's fiery, passionate, and it screams hope. It gives you life. Red for me is a definition of being powerful and being confident with who you are and showing to people what you can do, what you can be. Work from home is now the norm, right? Definitely. So, um, what do you think are the skills needed to this so-called workplace of the future? I'm actually working from home as well. For the past two years, actually, I've been working as a freelance. And I think that it's a beautiful opportunity for everyone transitioning online, transitioning into working from home. Not only does it um, require, does it have a lot of benefits to the businesses in terms of costs, but at the same time, for the people who are working, they have to develop that sense of, of resilience and being able to tell themselves, I have to wake up early and do my best every single day, even if no one is watching. So if there's one spot, man-made or natural in Cebu City that you'd like to promote to the world, what would it be? Definitely the Basilica del Santo Nino. That is the most historic place in Cebu City, and that is the exact reason why we celebrate Sinulog Festival. We gather so many people from all over the world, both locals and tourists, foreigners and Filipinos, so that we can celebrate the diversity of every single human being. And that is one of the most celebrated festivities in the country, and I'm very proud of that. There's a campaign to hashtag love local. So which local product do you want to promote and why? Lechon. <laughs> I'm such a foodie. Lechon. <laughs> Definitely, I, I'm, I'm sure a lot of people, if not everyone, loves lechon. It's one of my absolute favorites. I eat it. I try to eat it every week. Even if I'm from Cebu, I, I don't get used to how good it tastes. And it's definitely best paired with puso or the hanging rice. <laughs> puso or the hanging rice. So if you guys can visit Cebu sometime, I would love to bring you there. What is the one thing you think young people should focus on? Young people should focus on finding their true selves, finding their purpose. With the social media, with the age of social media, we tend to get lost and we tend to copy a lot of people that we forget who we truly are and what we stand for and what we deserve. We deserve so much more. If you really just look into ourselves, focus on our core values and just stick to that, then we will be able to, to reach our full potential and be the best person we can be. Thank you so much. Thank you. Miss Lechon. Miss Lechon. <laughs> you will remember me from Miss Lechon. Puso. Mm -hmm. But I'm glad that you know the term puso because not a lot of people know that it's the hanging rice. Mm -mm. Sarap. Larshan at saka ano, pungko-pungko. <laughs> it was the best that I could give at the given time. And I was just being myself. And that's, the, that's always the way to go. You can never go wrong with being yourself. Hi everyone, my name is April Smith. I'm 24 years old and I'm from the 
province of Cebu, and I am a daughter of a late former PBA basketball player, Daryl Smith. And we're four in the family. I am the youngest and I'm the only girl. And I have a transgender sister who's the one who introduces me to modeling and pageantry world. Um, what is the one beautiful word in your local language? And what does it mean? The one beautiful wor word is, for me, is guapa. You can differentiate guapa in every aspect, in all forms of Cebu. In any forms, beauty, food, and um, there's diversity. And I'm bringing the whole province of Cebu and also the island, and the festive island of Cebu. It's guapa. What is that uh, one learning experience that you had as a child that made so much impact on you? Uh, there's only one thing that I could share to you is that the man of my life passed away, whom I can call my father. His peaceful goodbye changed my perspective in life because before I was a girl who is called a happy-go-lucky. But then I learned that we need to value time, especially to our loved ones, family, and friends, and cherish each moment with them because we never know when our time is up. So I think valuing time is very important as a kid. Thank you. Well, so in this pandemic, uh, what do you think is the most important lesson that you've learned? Yeah, um, there's so, uh, in this pandemic, the important lesson that I've learned is still valuing time because all of us are working nonstop, studying nonstop, and we didn't um, notice about what happens, what happens in our surroundings. So I think valuing time is very important in this uh, pandemic. And you really can see what's the difference what happened to this pandemic. And I, I can say that still valuing time is the very important that time. the lesson happened to me. If you win, how will you help your community? I will help my community by my advocacy because mm -hmm. uh, my advocacy is through youth sports and for anti-bullying. And being, in, being a Cebuana, is a very important to me because as a child I've experienced discriminated and being bullied and no one was there for me no one was um, someone to lean on someone who can say everything is okay because I am here because being discriminated does not beat you physically but will corrupt you mentally and emotionally and I want to share that Hi. to my friends. Uh, what color do you think symbolizes the phenomenon of woman? The color symbolizes phenomenal woman is lavender. For me, I think uh, lavender represents a very refreshing to your eyes. And I think that is a phenomenal woman. And um, it's uh, lavender for me is a new perspective in life. It's a new, it's a very optimistic and a very positive because as a positive person, no matter may the things may not turn out the way you expected, we always see the light at the end of the tunnel. And I can say lavender Hi. is a nice color. If there is one spot, man-made or natural, in the province of Cebu that you'd like to promote to the world, what would it be? Uh, that would be um, the, aside from the Kawasan Falls, which is located in Badian, um, that would be uh, the Buhu River, which is located in Alugin San Cebu. Um, this may not be very known, but I want to promote it because it's very beautiful in there. And um, as I experience um, going there, it's so very peaceful. It's so very, um, very, you can meditate there. It's so nice. So I want to promote it. Thank you. Let's go. <laughs> I'll be your tour guide. <laughs> Okay, so when you hear the word working from home, work from home, work from home, so what do you think are the skills needed to this so-called workplace of the future? I think workplace in the future, um, in this amidst of pandemic, I think I would really promote online selling because it's uh, very timely. And I think while promoting online selling and this livelihood could really help other local and support local local products. And um, by supporting this online selling, I think it should also support the, um, the internet um, connectivity here in the Philippines. So I think by that, we can have the work. I think 
I think you're familiar with the hashtag love local. Yes. So if you had a choice, which local product do you want to promote and why? I would love to promote the guitars in Cebu province. <laughs> because um, it's already um, known by international that the Lapu Lapu City already um, was the number one in making of the guitars. So I want to promote, and my brother is, all, my brother is also a musician. So she ha uh, he had 11 guitars at home. <laughs> yes. And then the last question is, what is one thing you think that young people like you should focus on? Who? Young people should focus on self and should aim self-improvement, should aim, should, should think um, greater, um, greater self because it's very important and that's what I've learned a long ago as I've um, as I've grown and being adopting yourself and accepting yourself is very important and know your worth because before I really didn't know what my worth is so now I want to promote that sorry <laughs> Thank you. it's okay what <laughs> what why 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 sorry sorry i'm so sorry i'm so sorry because as a Cebuana, um i've experienced a lot of discriminated and bullying and I didn't know that I have this worth of joining any pageants. And um, when Leila Lopez won Miss Universe, I really got inspired. So by there, um, I want to be the be be, um, be uh, inspiration to the little April Smiths who look up to me now because there are some people who really message me that they're inspired by me and. And I remember that I was in their footsteps as well before. So I really want to promote that one and break the stereotype of joining beauty pageants, not just Mistisa. And yun. <laughs> so sorry. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> so sorry. Yeah, oh my God, I'm so sorry. You have a huge following, you know, a lot of people look up to you, so you can reach them. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you very much. What made you emotional? Is it something that you are fighting for? or? Yes, correct. That was something I, uh, I am fighting for, especially I'm passionate about my advocacy, with, uh, which is youth sports through anti-bullying, and I'm very passionate about that one. So when I got there, I really got emotional because I really want to push this advocacy and to promote it. Flying Wuntag. Okay, I have so many things to say about myself. <laughs> well, I, I'm in Dai Eliza Mali now and I'm nervous <laughs> and excited. And I've always believed that in Dai can do whatever I set my eyes and heart into. So, kinakabahan talaga ako. Okay. Nung bata pa ako, naalala ko, hindi ako binibigyan ng parents ko ng pera. So, sabi ko, okay, nakita ko na opportunity ko sa farm ng lolo ko. I'm sorry, it was 30 seconds. Were you brief about 30 seconds? 30 seconds per I didn't know that. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, what is one beautiful word? words in your local language or dialect, and what does it mean? Hmm. Padayon. That means continue. Um, in life, I've failed so many times, but in our language, we are taught that no matter how many times you fall, you have to stand back up and um, smile and move forward. I'm so nervous. I'm so nervous. <laughs> Great question. Uh, what is that one learning experience that you had as a child? That made so much impact on Oh, that was when I worked in our farm, in my grandfather's farm. Kasi hindi ako binibigyan ng pera. So I realized, okay, magtatrabaho ko sa farm para may extra allowance ako. And then I realized na if my initiative ka and you are hardworking, you can get whatever it is that you want in life. And now I'm here. In this pandemic, uh, what is that one major uh, lesson that uh, you learned from this pandemic? 
that food is very difficult to get from the farm to your table. And that was a life-changing event for me to be able to volunteer in an organization move, uh, called Move Food Initiative. I learned how to become a driver, a tindera, uh, maybe a farmer sometimes, but now I respect farmers even more and I hope I can teach everyone to really value the food on their table. If you win uh, the crown, how will you help your community? I have been helping my community even though I don't have the crown yet. When the pandemic happened, I connected them to our um, municipal hall and asked for seeds and now I'm looking at succeeding as an entrepreneur for our vanilla dream farm so I can help not only our community but the entire Mindanao as well. Um, we are targeting to tar uh, help the coconut farmers and plant vanilla in between. So not only that, they, I mean like, what the coconut I'm so excited to be here. <laughs> okay, relax, Eliza, relax. Okay. What color do you think symbolizes the phenomenal woman? Hmm. Yellow. What? Actually, and women empowerment is valuable, but my favorite color is yellow. Because when you see yellow, you ca uh, it captures your attention right away and makes you happy. And it's bright, brings you joy. That's me. <laughs> so, um, if there is one spot, in Davao City, man-made or natural, that you would like to promote to the world, what would it be? Hmm. Well, Davao City is known to be the home of the Dutertes, but we are also a home of 11 ethno-linguistic groups. So we transformed one park into a place where people can visit and meet all the 11 ethno-linguistic groups, including their houses, um, how, what they have in their homes, their costumes, and their people. And I want you to get to know them more. Let's go. Yes, let's go. <laughs> um, another thing that we hear a lot nowadays is work from home. Mm -hmm. So they say this is the workplace of the future. So what skills do you think is needed in this so-called work, uh, workplace of the future? Hmm. When the pandemic happened, I was able to grow a garden in my balcony. And I believe in sustainability. So I think people should learn how to grow their own food and their backyard or balcony so no matter how many pandemics happen hopefully nothing will come in the future um, they will be food secure and they will never go hungry there's a, there's a campaign uh, uh, hashtag love local mm -hmm. so uh, <laughs> you yes i what local product do you want to promote and why mm, definitely the vegetables of the farmers. I want to make sure that one day we can help the food system be better because there are so many things that we can promote, but we are not helping our farmers to make sure that they can reach the markets. And I want to help them to be able to reach the markets right away so no more food will be wasted. Thank you. What is one thing you think young people like you should focus on? Themselves. Um, you can never get anywhere if you, know, you don't know who you are. When you know who you are, you know where you are going. So with me, I know that I am a farmer, and no matter how many places I visit, I would always go back to the farm, and that's where I want to improve my community and my family. Okay. More. <laughs> Nice. Thank you. Then get back your farm. Then get bean. If there's anyone you wanted to inspire with your performance, who would it be? Hmm, I think the young Indies, because and daming Indies sa probinsya namin that um, they think the only breakthrough in life is to get married, and I want to show them that they can be whatever they want to be, and they can always follow their dreams, kahit pa ano pasabihin ng society or ng parents nila sa kanila. Hi, good morning, Bob. Good morning, Bob. How are you? I'm cold. Are you cold? Yeah, it's, it's cold. Hold on, hold on. Yes. Okay.
So you can pick in your language if you'd like to. Ooh. Me, but they're in uh, English. Wala niya ata nagbibisaya sa amin dito para. Pero pwede yung subtitle. Okay. 30 seconds lang. Okay. Every answer. Tell us something about it. Uh, my name is Wam Ahmed. The meaning of my name is peace. I love reading books and I love sketching. What is one beautiful word in your local language? This one. And Padayon. What does it mean? Padayon means to keep on going, to continue. So it's in, it's related to my advocacy rin kasi about mental health awareness. So Padayon. Padayon. Next question. Uh, what is that uh, one learning experience? That you had when you were a child uh, that made so much impossible? Uh, the lesson that I had to be vulnerable, na I have to be human in order to grow more. Because before, I was such a shy kid, na talagang enclosed talaga lahat. And then growing up, I realized na it's okay to actually just be vulnerable and affectionate because that's where we grow. And then, what about in this pandemic? Uh, what do you think is the most important lesson that you've learned? The most important lesson that I've learned is to just keep on going. No matter how hard it is, no matter how frustrated you are, no matter how dark it is, just keep on going because even though you're frustrated, towards the end of this tunnel, lagi talaga on my bright side. If you win, how uh, will you help your community? If I would win, I'd like to give more recognition about my advocacy, po, mental health awareness. Po. More on uh, sa province ko po, Davao del Norte. I have to start small muna. I have to start with my province first. And with the children talaga. What color do you think uh, symbolizes the phenomenal woman? I think the color that symbolizes a phenomenal woman is red. Because it's fierce, it's passionate, and it's empowering. Okay, if there's one spot. Man-made or natural in Davao del Norte that you would like to promote to the world, what would it be? I'd like to promote Talaingod because it's a municipality in my province na punong-puno ng IP and it isn't that visited that much kasi ang binibisita talaga sa amin is Sabal Island kasi nga the beaches and everything. But when you go to Talaingod, you would see the, the culture talaga dun, and you would appreciate it even more. Okay. So another question, you've been hearing the word work from home, work from home, work from home. <laughs> yes. So what do you think are the skills needed to this uh, so-called work at home. workplace of the future? Yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. I feel like work at home, kailangan talaga disiplina because it's so hard to work at uh, an environment where you're used to being relaxed talaga. So environment really matters when it comes to doing certain kinds of things. So I really think the discipline is really important. There's a campaign that's called Hashtag Love Local. Yes. So if it were up to you, which local product would you want to push and drive? I'm wearing the local product I like to push. This is actually the first ever fabric in my province, ko, in Davao del Norte. This is Musa fabric. It's made out of banana fiber. Kasi usually sa Mindanao, ang ginagamit is talaga is tinalak, if you'd noticed. And this is the first ever Musa fabric made out of banana fibers. So I'm proudly representing this. Yes. Oh. <laughs> Thank you, Bo. Last question. What is one thing you think that young people should focus on? I think young people should focus on themselves and on their mental health because it is important uh, to... Put yourself first when it comes to situations. Your first has to come first. Yourself has to come first, talaga, before other people. Thank you. Good night. You know, both? Yeah. <laughs> 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 okay, but thank you so much. Uh, Miss Joy Supo, sa Davao del Norte. Yes, po. I hope you enjoyed your Q&A and you can probably rest up for your next event. I enjoyed my Q&A so much. I was laughing and I was promoting everything about my province. I loved everything that happened, Kanina. All good vibes. Yeah. Ah, batch 3. Okay. Nandito siya, Mama Jane. Hi, may adlaw sa tanan. Hello, talking about it. 
I'm Marielle Joyce Pasqua. You can also call me MJ. I'm 27 years old. I'm representing the Tuna capital of the Philippines, General Santa City. So I'm also a graduate of AB Mass Communication in the premier university of General Santa City. I, I resided in, I'm residing in General Santa City and, but I, I I reside in General Santa City, but sorry. Uh, sorry. <laughs> I'm ready to say. <laughs> um, what is one beautiful word in your local language, and what does it mean? That's Kalino. It means tranquility. Because I think in this time of pandemic, we all need tranquility and happiness. I am, they say that I am the life of the party and I make people happy and brighten up the world. So I think if you have a party, you can always invite me. Kalinao, <laughs> it means tranquility. It's in Bisaya. Okay, next question. What is that one learning experience that you had as a child that made so much impact on you? I mean, the courage that my mom she battled cancer, lung cancer, for almost nine years. And in this time of pandemic, uh, it is really hard for me because aviation industry is one of the most affected industry in this time of pandemic. And working as a flight attendant for almost four years, and I lost this job. I lost my dream job, but it made me so stronger to achieve more in life and focus more on Winning the crown of Miss Universe. Speaking of the pandemic, what is the most important lesson you've learned during the pandemic? They have an attitude of gratitude. We all have that time in this pandemic that we are so much, a lot of battles that is happening in our mind. I suffered a lot of depression because of the work. But I should have that attitude of gratitude to be more thankful for what is happening, for what I have right now. I have time with, more time with my family, my health, I am negative, and I'm... <laughs> time. If you will, how will you help your community? I'm so passionate with the youth and our generation. So I made a movement of Next Is Me. I've been so, so happy to involve in our community, in General Santa City, to help the indigenous uh, communities. I also have programs like Proyecto Cuaderno. It's a Proyecto Calon program that we made with Eliza and with my sisters here in Miss Universe Philippines because we want to continue. <laughs> uh, what color you, do you think symbolizes the uh, phenomenal woman? Phenomenal woman, it's green because it gives me, when I see green, it gives me so, it's so natural and it gives me tranquility. It's one of my favorite colors because when I see green, I see so so relaxed and it's like a phenomenal woman i feel relaxed right now but, but at the same time i'm shaking but no ubus wala pa ko na hindi pa na explain so if there is one spot man made or natural in general santos that you would like to promote what would it be Definitely, that's the, our fish port. We, I want to show the Philippines and the whole country that we are the tuna capital of the Philippines. And you can see in my, it's fish scales, yes. Dried fish scales from a local in General Santa City. <laughs> wow. Okay. So we've been hearing the word work from home. So what skills do you think is needed uh, in this so-called future of uh, future of workspace, future of workspace, 
that's Greece under pressure. Uh, because I lost my job as a flight attendant, I am currently working as a marketing consultant in a review center for IELTS. So I think we also need to have more impact in our society in helping our community. In a work from home situation, we need to be more, I know it's convenient, but we also need to be more impactful. There's a campaign. Hashtag love local. Love local. So in 30 seconds. Tell us which local product you want to promote and why. That's definitely tuna. I'm from General Santa City. I want to champion our locality. So that's why I'm wearing a dress with fish scales because I want to show the world and show the universe rather <laughs> that I'm from I'm from the tuna capital of Philippines of the Philippines and also supporting local, it's also supporting our um, industry and our community. So, last question. <laughs> one thing you think young people like you should focus on? Self-respect. I have a 11-year-old uh, cousin who always tell me that she's been bullied and I also uh, I also, uh, I also experienced um, it right now, and but it made me stronger. Um, it made me stronger to who, who I am today. That's why I go out on my comfort zone and be Miss Universe Philippine. Hopefully, thank you. Gulat ako kay Derek. Thank you so much. Thank you. Do you think that you said everything that you wanted to say? No, <laughs> because it's so much little time, so I can't explain in 30 seconds, so I think I need a lot of time to explain myself. <laughs> So, naimbag nga bigat, kada kayo amin. My name is Adalma Crisel Benicta. I'm 26 years old and I represent the beautiful province of Ilocosur. So, as you know, I am a frontliner myself and working in this time of pandemic is a bit challenging but a fulfilling one because for me, knowing that I'm able to help them in times of their need is a fulfillment in itself. Sorry. Oh, pagod. Sorry. Um, <laughs> but, as, well, but aside from that, uh, I'm sorry. Okay, pasig. <laughs> um, I work as a nurse po in one of the public hospitals in my province, Ilocosur. What is one beautiful word in your local language, and what does it mean? So for <laughs> if I would choose a beautiful word that translate to my dialect, that would be napintas. <laughs> napintas translates to beautiful, and I believe as I stand here, I represent uh, napintas abalasang, um, an Ilocana who shows to the world confident that. She has a heart to inspire other people, and I hope that showing my talents and skills as an Ilocana inspires other people also and to inspire others. Mauyong. Mauyong, parang bagpit din po yun. <laughs> so what is that uh, learning experience that you had as a child that made so much impact on you? Um, well, as a child, I've always been a uh, malikot, so I've always had to stumble, and these scars in my knees are representations that I'm a malikot. But the learning experience that I've had is always learning how to stand back up. And, you know, I'm, um, before I became Miss Ilocos, I had to try three times, so that represents how perseverant and hardworking as I am, because that represents Ilocana. We are resilient, full of grit, full of love and inspiration. 
There are a lot of learnings that I've learned in this pandemic. One thing is to have that attitude of gratitude, sir. Um, you know, um, I've always um, taught myself to always look for the things that I have in life, for the family that I have, for the friends that I have, because I've learned through the learning journeys in this Miss Universe that it's okay to have these people around you to share the feelings that you have, because you know you can never do things alone. And I think that's a, that's an important thing to have, to always be grateful. Adele, if you win the crown, how will you help your community? I've thought of that um, a long time, but it was really hard to think of a one thing to. Um, really spark that answer so but i feel like if i win miss universe i can help my community by being the voice because you know there are a lot of people in our community that don't have the voice to let out their needs and as a nurse myself you know i want to show to or i mean i want to be the voice to the nurses because you know okay <laughs> sorry <laughs> be bitten. But it's okay. A color that symbolizes a phenomenal woman for me is white. As you see, as you can see, I am wearing white because I believe that purity is important to become a phenomenal woman that you are. And to be a phenomenal woman, you have to know in your heart that whatever, as long as it is pure. And as long as it is kind to have these people around you, have a better life. I think that's one thing that you can do to uplift Thanks. lives of others. So working from home is now a norm. So what skills do you think is needed to this so-called uh, workplace of the future? Um, yes, sir. It's really hard to work at home, especially for those who um, have this type of setting but as for me as I'm, I'm a nurse and I don't mm, know their experience but I think one skill that you should have if you are working from home is knowing how to thrive because you know you have to adjust adjust to the things that's happening right now and if you learn to adjust and accept the things that's happening right now and have that positive mindset you can always you can always um, overcome what it is man-made or natural that you would like to promote to the world, what would it be? Um, I'm originally from the municipality of Bantay, and if there's one spot that I would like to show to the world, then th that probably is the Bantay Bell Tower, because you know it's a spot wherein it is a hill, and you overlooking the view of our province. And I think that's a great um, opportunity for if someone has ever to visit our province that's like showing to them in a top view of Ilocosur that we are um, we are a beautiful province we are full of nature and of course beautiful people <laughs> Yes, um, I actually I support um, local products and I think that would be obvious because I am wearing one now. So if there's one thing that I would like to introduce, that's the Abel Iloco. Um, I believe that this Abel Iloco dress made by an Ilocano designer is a representation of how Iloco Sur has a great or has a great culture and heritage and it represents how we Ilocanos are talented and artistic because in the process of making the Abel Iloco is labor, yes, labor intrinsic. The last question is, what is one thing um, you think young people like you should focus on? Um, I believe, sir, that what young people should be working on, on. or I mean focusing on should be their dreams. They should really know what their goals in life and knowing how their authentic authenticity is. Because you know, we, in this learning journey, um, I believe that knowing yourself truly and knowing your purpose and having that vision of who you want to become and how you can use that to be 
an inspiration to others is important. Thank you po! Thank you you know, po. my loved ones are always <laughs> there for, for me, what, cheering me on, um, despite having these beautiful ladies com to compete with. Um, but they reassure me that, no, you, you, you know, you have the skills and the ability, you just have to believe in yourself and have faith in God because once you have that, you can achieve everything. You can overcome whatever it is that you're going through. <laughs> Hello, good morning. I am Rabia Oxanya Mateo, 23, representing the city of Love, Iliilo. I am biracial. Hi, I'm sorry. <laughs> I did introduce myself na. <laughs> yes. Okay. So, 30 seconds long, given the introduction, tell us something about yourself. I'm actually biracial. My mom is an Ilonga and my dad is an Indian. If you can see through my features. However, I was raised in a broken family and uh, I experienced a really poor life. And it, I was able to rise from our situation as well because of educating people, because of educating myself. And now I decided to go give back to my community and uh, I became a lecturer for physical therapy. That's why I was able to go Time. to... What is one beautiful word in a local language, and what does it mean? One beautiful word would probably guapa, which means beautiful. I feel like we have this um, statement in Iliilo, basta ilonga guapa, which means every ilonga is beautiful. And I'm very proud that um, with Miss Universe Philippines, I was able to bring that kind of aspect that every Filipino would know that statement, basta ilonga guapa. that uh, one learning experience that you had as a child that made so much impact on you? If there would be one thing that I learned through my mother, that would be always forgive people because there's no such thing as a perfect person. And when my dad left us, she never speak ill about him. That's why in every situation, even though other people would hurt me, I still choose to see the goodness in them. What, what about in this pandemic? What is the most important lesson that you you know what, even though you're struggling, you can still become the symbol of hope. I myself, um, I had fears, uncertainty, but I still um, realized that I could still give back to Iloilo City. Out of my pocket, I decided to go for the frontliners, and I know that's just a simple way, but that's my best way to help our modern heroes. If you win the crown, how? Uh, will you help your community? Well, you mentioned that, but are there other things that you plan to do when you win the crown? Being a Miss Universe, you become influential. So I want to go back to my advocacy, which is Feed Me and a Radio program, which we help those children living near the dump site. If you have seen my Beyond the Coastline video, I want to go back there. And we need a lot of materials, learning materials. And I feel like being a Miss Universe, I will be able to pull donors into our project to make it foster even better. What's the name of the program? Feed Me and I Read You program. What color do you think symbolizes the phenomenal woman? I feel that a phenomenal woman is red because red is power and I am red. Um, work from home is now a norm. So <clears throat> what do you think are the skills needed to this uh, future workspace or a uh, future workspace workplace of the future? Sorry. As of the moment, I am working from home because we don't have classes, um, live classroom classes. That's why we decided to conduct our lectures online. I feel like nowadays we need to adopt to the situation. So um, we need to be versatile in what is happening around us. And online business or working from home is such a huge opportunity for us to spend more time with our family and as well um, trying to enjoy the life. If you can name one spot man-made or natural in your uh, in Iloilo City, what would it be? I would definitely want to bring all of you to Haro Cathedral because, you know what, in Iloilo, we don't have much of natural spots. But Haro Cathedral is like an establishment that witnessed the love and devotion that Ilongos have 
towards God. And I feel like it's been there since the Spanish era. So with timeless memories and modernization, we were able to, you know, arrive to be the elongus that we are today. There's a campaign that hashtag love local. So if it were up to you, which local product do you want to promote and why? You know what? It was also asked to me during Miss Iliila, and I want to bring to the global community our very own hablon, that is our indigenous fabric. And I feel like you know, it enriches the culture of not just Iliilo, but of our country. Every time I wear hablon, I don't just wear Iliilo, but I wear Philippines. Nice Last question. What is one thing young people like you should focus on? <laughs> you need to invest in yourself. As of the moment, there's a lot of distractions. There's a lot of bashers or backlash. But at the end of the day, when you practice self-love, you get to know the right weapon in order for you to win life. And I feel like right now, I am ripe enough to win the competition because I've done everything that I could to transform, to become a phenomenal woman that I am. Thank you, thank you, thank you, po. Actually, at first, I was kind of hesitant because you need 30 seconds to answer one question. But in the end, I was able to gain that momentum. And I feel like up until now, there's so much energy in me. I can do another round. Um, they told us that it's all about us, our personality. So I think I can do it because I know myself. And that's basically about us. Hello, how are you? I'm good, Po. How are you, are you guys? Around? 30 seconds long for the Tell us something about yourself. Hi, good morning, everyone. I'm Kimchi Crisaldo. You might be wondering why I'm named Kimchi. I was born in South Korea um, be because my parents were working there before, and I was named after the Korean appetizer Kimchi. So I'm currently working as a flight attendant, and one of my greatest achievements in my career is that I was a presidential cabin crew. And right now, I'm currently studying my master's in business administration in Ateneo because I also have, I also want to have a business in the future and so that I can control my time and schedule. Thank you. <laughs> Sorry, wait. <laughs> 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 Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh my gosh. <laughs> 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 what is one beautiful word? In your local language, then what does it mean? Guapa, that means beautiful. I think everyone, every Ilongo people are beautiful in our own ways. Whatever we have, whatever color of our skin, whatever um, how our phys physical features are, we are all beautiful in our own ways. As long as we accept and acknowledge our fears and our flaws and insecurities, then we are beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. <clears throat> one learning experience when I was a child um, is that we have different privileges in life. I live in a small community and we, we, we go on, we went to different schools, public, private, and I've seen how life is, the reality of life for us. And with that, I, that is an aspect that I can bring to Miss Universe Philippines, for us to be able to appreciate more in life, for us to be able to give more and understand more. Thank you. So what about in this pandemic? Uh, what do you think is the most important lesson that you've learned? The most important thing that I've learned during this pandemic is to not take things for granted. We all know that we have different privileges and that that's something that we have to acknowledge. Not every one of us has the same privilege. And because of that, I was able to use my platform to ra raise funds, create donation drives for those under underprivileged. And that's something that I would want to empower people for us to uh, appreciate our life better. Thank you. What, uh, if you win the crown, uh, how will you help your community in the future? <clears throat> if I win the crown, I can help through my advocacy because my advocacy is about public health and sanitation. Um, my advocacy is about creating more environmental laws because in Iloilo, we have community cleanup drive every Saturday of the month. And 
Iloilo province is aiming for a clean identity province, and that's something that I would want to bring to Miss Universe Philippines, for us to be able to have a clean identity country, for every province to have that um, achievement Thank also. You. Thank you. <laughs> Why are you laughing? I'm <laughs> 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 I'm sorry. <laughs> Sa lahat po. <laughs> what color do you think is, uh, uh, symbolizes uh, phenomenal woman? I don't think there is a certain color. Because I think every color, since Miss Universe is embraces diversity, I think every color symbolizes a phenomenal woman. So, work from home <clears throat> is now part of the media. So, what do you think are the skills needed to this uh, so-called workplace of the future? Um, I never experienced work from home because I'm a flight attendant. So, but um, tourism industry is one of the most affected industry, right? So, we get to have w one flight in a month, and that's really sad because I really miss flying. And right now, what we we can do is to um, pray that this will all be over for us to be be able to live the normal life again. If there is one spot in, in, in the province, whether it's man-made or natural, that you would like to promote to the world, what would it be? There are lots of globally competitive islands and beaches in Iloilo province that are underrated, and that's something that I would want to bring to Miss Universe Philippines for us to be... For, for, so I can promote my... Um, the tourist destinations that we have, like the Isla de Gigantes and the Sikogon Island. Those are white sand beaches and islands that are really globally competitive that can be on the top best islands in Asia. Thank you. There's a, there's a campaign to well, hashtag love local. So for you, which local product do you want to promote and why? Um, Local product that I would want to promote is our hablon. Um, it's um, a fabric weaved by our weavers, and it's made of abaca, piña, and cotton. Um, that's really something that I would want to support and promote because it's also a globally competitive product, and that's also something that I would love to wear. Thank you. Last question. What is one thing young people like you should focus on? One thing that young people like me should focus on is our authenticity. If we are able to acknowledge and accept our vulnerabilities, our fears, that we are also, that we have our insecurities, then we, we can empower ourselves and use it to empower other people. That we can, if we use our authenticity, we can be beautiful in our own ways. We can be phenomenally beautiful in our own ways. Thank you. Oh my gosh, I'm nervous. <laughs> Thank you. For having me. <laughs> we have just broadcasted the dreaded question and answer rounds. And as far as we could account, this will be a pageant first in the Miss Universe format, wherein all the preliminary interviews are held behind closed doors. This has been the second batch of interview preliminaries, and this is Miss Universe Philippines 2020 